In this video, we're going to install Unix on a PC. We will use a program called Sigwin. Go to the top right hand corner of your browser in the Google search box and type in install Sigwin. Hit enter. And the very first result returned Sigwin information and installation should take you to the Sigwin homepage. On the top right hand corner of this home page, you would see Install Sigwin Now. Now this website has a lot of good information, but this video is about getting up to speed, getting Unix working on your PC in minutes. Click Install, click Save, and Firefox you should see on the bottom left when the install is complete. Double click the program and you should see a dialog box instructing you on how to proceed. Click Next. Install from the Internet is the default. Click Next. I usually use the default home directory or C colon backslash Sigwin since I already have an installation I will go ahead and create a new directory click next a temporary package directory click next next and what we have here is a list of FTP sites or file transfer sites where the packages can be downloaded from. I usually choose the .gov sites, they tend to be reliable. Another good one that works for me here in Southern California is kernel.org, like mirrors.kernel.org. So go ahead and choose one of those two or something that is geographically closer to you or, or is known uh, fast connection. Click Next. And the Sigwin installation program will now download a configuration file and then it would ask you to choose what extra packages you would want to install. What I tend to do on my first installation is just go ahead and choose the defaults. It should have enough to get you up and running quickly. And later on, if you need to, you come back over here and run the install program again. Or you could run it from the saved copy on your desktop or wherever you saved it. And right about now we see the package list. It's asking us to select a package. We're just going to go ahead and use the defaults, but if we wanted to add an extra networking package, we would click the next net, and we would see this tree fell down or expanded. We could go ahead and check or uncheck boxes. We're not going to do that at this point, so let's go ahead and collapse this again and go ahead and hit next. There you have it the installation has begun. Here it tells us the current package being downloaded, the total disk space that you have, the progress of the current package. And if you look here you would see the packages are changing. In this case it's alternatives, Apache, and this should go on for several minutes. It shouldn't take too long, maybe less than 30 minutes for the basic install and then it would place a icon on your desktop you double click it when it's done and you're good to go start issuing unix commands for unix commands go to rogriff-unix.blogspot.com for learning basic unix that's it for this basic unix on pc video